Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use the feedback delay network rack inside Drumbo. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to increase the number of voices so that I don't worry later on if I'm pressing more than one note. Secondly, let's click on the plus sign and let's click on generator and let's bring a simple FM operator. It sounds basic like this without, of course, any different settings. Okay, before proceeding, let's decrease the master volume up here because be careful when you have the FDM module on, you can generate very high pitch or volume type of sounds. Let's click on the plus sign, let's go to processor and let's search for the FDN rack, there it is. How does it sound out of the box? You can hear it's starting to create a um, delayed reverberation effect because it's part of those uh, reverberation family. Okay, first thing, if the decay is set to zero, you have no effects because it will not allow the module to actually operate through its network. Now, even if you have delay up, but the dry and wet mixture is down to zero, again, you will not hear anything. So, good practice, increase the dry wet your mix to somewhere high but of course that depends on your taste and what you are doing okay next if the decay is too high the sound will decay so slowly that if you have multiple notes you may have the undesired result of having a really complex well not re useful really type of sound you heard straight away that there is uh, bumping up because yet it has that feedback loop inside so because the decay was so slow um the um gain went up really to maximum you saw the master going up to maximum very quickly next the thing you need to be also careful of is the pitch so if you decrease the pitch of course your decay will get longer and uh, at the moment there is no sustain on the fm operator active therefore it will start to look like um, a repeat of that um, uh, little uh, or short impulse coming from the FM operator. And let me show you what happens when you decrease the pitch. And as you move the pitch, you, if there is that sound still on, you will hear some artifacts, okay? When it is high pitch, it will sound like a string, right? Or an, an elastic band, which is pinched. You can activate the disperse as well. You can hear it now, dispersion active, and you can also increase the tension. Be careful with the tension dial, particularly when the spread is on, because of course you can activate stereo and then you can spread the sound, right? Let's increase the pitch. Let's spread again. Let me show you what happens when the spread is a maximum. Okay, we'll start that um, delay effect. It started to uh, bounce back because the spread is really wide. Okay, so just um, perhaps if you want it really wide or open, just uh, have it just below the maximum, okay? Now let's re decrease the pitch. Increase slightly the decay. There and there you heard some of the artifacts, okay? And now, of course, let's try to increase the tension. Let's 
and you can hear that big sponge reverberation effect now. You have the high dump and low dump. Of course, if you decrease the high dump, you remove high frequency. And if you increase the low dump, the opposite. You start to remove first from the lower uh, frequency to the highest, okay? This, you can use the low dump and high dump, li li literally as a constrainers, right? Okay. A, a little trick here, if you move down the gain, then up to where it was, so you cut the sound, which is still ongoing. Here's the thing. Let's now activate the sustain on the FM operator. And again, be careful. I'm going to put the tension down to zero. And let me show you what happens when I use the tension conjunction. I'll go up and down very quickly. Now, you could also use additional racks. For example, you could say, um, let's introduce a filter, and also let's introduce uh, another reverberation rack, like the reverb plate. And for example, let me show you what happens if I move up and down the cutoff. I found it really useful to add, for example, here a modulator like a mini LFO and connect it to the cutoff, set the remove bipolar uh, triangle and reduce the amount, something like this, and increase the LFO intensity to max to the cutoff dial. So you can start to hear what kind of effect you can create, which is really nice. So depending really on the settings, you could create some dramatic soundscape type of effects, or you could create some really nice um, smoothing uh, pads, or you can create some really nice on the high range of uh, uh, the keyboard, some really nice, interesting, uh, for example, bell types of effect. Or synth, like so. If you, have, if you have less decay, of course, it will not have that opportunity to feed back in itself and increase the gain so much to create that distortion, even if you have the tension on. Of course, you can play like that to create exactly the type of sound you want. Mm -hmm. 
Let's change these to, uh, for example, uh, harmonic minor. Why not? Actually, melodic minor. Decrease the dump, high dump. So as you can see, you can create some really unique type of sound. Okay, I hope this makes sense. If you need any additional help, just leave a comment. And as always, I hope you enjoyed and find the tutorial useful. And I see you at the next one. Thank you. Bye.